I use computer models to simulate planetary scale collisions to understand mysteries about the origin of the Earth and other planets. My name is Sarah Stewart. I'm a planetary scientist at the University of California, Davis. I study how planets form and evolve. My main techniques are shock compression experiments where I simulate what happens during planetary impact events in the lab. I have two gas guns that use compressed gas to drive a projectile to up to several kilometers per second in order to generate a strong shock wave in a geologic material. We measure the response of that material to the shock wave, which gives us material property information that define its equation of state. And we use that data to understand the interior structure of planets and the outcome of impact events. This linking of material properties with the dynamic processes is going to be key to understanding what happened that grew the Earth and other planets. These are new tools. Only recently have we been able to explore all of the solar system in the lab in this way. So now we can take any material, drive it to the conditions in different planets or during impact events, and study material properties in the lab. When the Earth formed, it was actually a different type of object that we call a synestia. The term synestia means connected structure. There's an interior region that rotates altogether and a disk-like region that has orbital velocities, and the combined connected body is a synestia. Our moon is a chemical twin to the Earth, and there are no two bodies anywhere else in the solar system that share this connection. We propose that the remarkable similarity between the Earth and the moon is a result of making the moon out of a terrestrial synestia. In our model, the moon accretes within the hot vapor structure and inherits the chemistry of the Earth. And as the system cools, the synestia becomes cool Earth and the independent moon. If we could find a robust test, we could tell the difference between different hypotheses for lunar origin. The origin of the moon was the last major event in Earth's formation, and we think it's key to understanding the physical properties of the early Earth and why it's different from the other planets.